Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, my name is Julia and I'm a fourth year graduating medical student. You guys, today is by far the best day and biggest moment of my life. It is match day 2022. So basically what this means, and I did some videos about match and what exactly it means for graduating medical students. So if you haven't catched those, go check them out. But essentially this is the Super Bowl for medical students, you guys. So this is when we find out if we have a job after graduation and where exactly that job is. So on Monday of this week, I found out that I matched into my field of medicine, internal medicine, and basically I have a job once I graduate, thank God. But today, Friday, at noon on the dot, I find out where I am going for my residency training, you guys. So the first half is done, right? I know I have a job, but today I found out where exactly I'm going. You guys, this is a huge deal because I'm relocating regardless. So I ranked the programs that I interviewed with and all of them are not in New Jersey. So I am moving somewhere, but where exactly that is, we are going to find out today on Match Day 2022. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me as I celebrate Match Day with my family, friends, loved ones, my peers, my medical school, and I find out what the next chapter of my life has to offer me. So are you guys ready? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Especially having the ability to be here at the Newark campus is really meeting the diverse patient population we have and going that extra step and making that connection through medicine into their personal lives. Hey, we love that. Newark, Newark gang. What about Gabby? So my name is Gabriella Martinez, aka Gabby. Um, I am going into PM&R and my favorite part of medical school was post-test. <laughs> <laughs> The post-exam outings, post that probably up. was my favorite part of medical school. <laughs> Absolutely. Which Jalise was probably the, the life of the party at yeah, those yes. post-test outings. And then my purse, bitches. <laughs> so We're matched now, we can say that. Yes. <laughs> I'm okay. Jalise, I'm going into emergency as well. Um, so just favorite part of med school? Yeah. Alright. Um, I would say like, you know, I think we've had like a really unique experience being at the only public hospital in Jersey. You know, obviously we serve a very diverse patient population, so you get to see it all. Um, and then I would just say like meeting all of my classmates. I think like a lot of people, what like draws them to Rutgers is just like the very inclusive environment that we have here. Um, so I feel like I'm very close with a lot of people in my class. So it's been awesome, especially to just like share this experience, especially with these ladies. Um, Cause med school definitely would have been a lot worse without them. So. Oh, <laughs> say that, say that. So these are some of my favorite ladies, you guys. At Rutgers New Jersey Medical School, I'm so grateful for them and I'm so excited to see where they match and where we open up the next chapter of our lives. We may end up at all different parts of the nation, but one thing's for certain, I will maintain communication with all of them because they oh were so important surprise. to me. Oh, It's giving sisterhood of the traveling fans. <laughs> in hand where I'm starting the next chapter of my life. 
what I am going to do, you guys, I wanted to involve my loved ones in this process and, you know, have them share this moment with me actively because they are so fundamental in my making it to this point. So, sorry. Oh, I'm so emotional. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to give my envelope to my sister who's going to open it for me. And we are going to do a match reveal. So... She has a surprise planned um, in order to celebrate exactly where I'm going. So I'm gonna let her be the one to open this envelope. So yeah, I'll pass it to her. Thank you. Handle it with care. I can switch your Be grateful, but still want your number one. <laughs> I know something you don't. I know something that you'll never know. Close. Keep your eyes closed. They're closed. I'm not gonna. Information. I'm not gonna open it. I'm not gonna open my eyes. I'm not. Make sure it's the right direction and everything. In the 2022 match draft. Julia Carter selects! Oh my god! Oh. I'm good. 
Thank you. It's been four years already. He was my security guard. He was my security guard when I lived in the dorms. Okay, do it right, boss. Wait, 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 wait. You want to do something? Do it right with my girl. He was my security guard from the dorms when I lived here in first year on campus. He's been here all four years, you guys. People like like Donji and other people a part of NJMS and the Rutgers community that often go overlooked or aren't always at the forefront but really mean a lot in a, to us in our journey. So, of course, I had to come and see him before I head out. But I appreciate that. Of Thank course. you so much. I'll be one. moving. I'm going to Philadelphia. I'm going okay, to... Okay, not so far. <laughs> not, not so far. You'll be coming I'll come back and right. see you. Good, I'll come back good, and see good. you. Thank right. you for everything you've done. Thank you for protecting us over the last four years. Remember you used to sit over there? I did. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me cry, Don. Don't make me cry. Thank you. Uh, no, I of course. It. I hope to see you before you. I leave for sure. Before, for good, okay? okay. Oh, All right. I, I'm here. I'm awesome. Here, yeah, no. I know where to find you. <laughs> Thank you so much. See you later. <laughs> acknowledge the reason why I did all of this. Um, my dad, who passed when I was younger um, from heart problems, and it was my primary motivation to want to be a doctor. Um, he used to call me Dr. Carter. I wanted to help my family to be better, to show people that no matter where you come from, you can achieve whatever you want in life. So he was the reason I did all this. These are some of the people were the reasons that I did all this, um, and it wouldn't be right if I didn't acknowledge that. So thank you, thank you for pushing me. Thank you for being my guardian angel through all of this. And we did it, <laughs> like I'm Dr. Carter. And this is for you, so I love you, thank you. Um, thank you guys for being here. Um, like, let's turn up now, right? <laughs> let's turn up. We matched a you pin, you guys. We're going to Philly. That was nice. Dr. Julia Carter coming soon. Your favorite Woo! I am doc is coming to you pin, Philadelphia. Come see me, book an appointment. Yes, you know, you know what the deal is. All right, guys. So that wraps up my match day festivities. I'm so blessed and humbled to match into my number one on my rank list, the University of Pennsylvania for Internal Medicine. This has been such a journey, you guys, through medical school over the last few years. Even before that, all of the work, the grind, the sacrifice, the hard work leading up to this very moment makes it all so worth it. You know, all the ups and downs, all the trials and tribulations got me to this moment here this moment where I, all my dreams have become a reality and I'm going to be a doctor at the mecca of excellence and in the institution that I truly wanted to be at. More importantly, I guess, I'll be able to stay close to some of these crazy folks you saw in this video, my family, my friends, my loved ones, because I'll still be in the Northeast. It's only a drive down the highway to Philadelphia. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog of Match Day. I hope this encourages you all to continue on your journeys, to push through, to strive for your goals, to never let any dream be big enough um, and to keep going. So thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure you're subscribed and tune into all the latest content and I will catch you next time, family. Love you. So guys, I have a car full of decorations. So come with me, I'll show you what we have. As soon as she leaves, we're decorating this entire place. So come with me. So we have a car full of balloons. Balloons are sticking out the door, as you can see. Um, but we're gonna do it. We have decoration, everything. So wait until you see the house. So I have her results, and what we're gonna do is a match reveal, similar to a gender reveal. So I have confetti canyons, I have balloons, all in the colors of her top choices. So we have U-Pin, and if, it sh if she's going to U-Pin, it's gonna shoot out red. 
We have Northwestern, and if she's going there, it's gonna shoot out purple, and we have Duke, and if she's going there, it's gonna shoot out blue. So let's go get all that ready. Follow me, and we'll do it. Okay, so I guess I need to open this right now. I'm so nervous. Mm -hmm. Hey, come on! I'm so excited. Oh, she's gonna be so happy. I'm so proud of her. And selfishly, she got the choice that I wanted because I just wanted to be real close to her. But I'm so proud of her. And I guess because she's gonna see this after everything, I just wanna tell everybody, we're going to the league. We're going Ivy League, baby. Okay. Oh, I'm so happy! Oh, oh I'm shaking out the chills, woo! Okay guys, so we have Confetti Canyons. We only taped four of them because as you can see, she'll know where she's going if I give her this. So we duct tape them. She's gonna have to close her eyes for that part. Um, so we have that, we have balloons, we have t-shirts. We just knew she was going number one. And if she did it, that was totally fine. We can return this stuff. But we had all faith in her and her capabilities and her academics and her leadership. So we knew she was going to the league. Um, so follow me, we're gonna get started. She's gonna cry. I'm so excited, let's go. I know something you don't. I know something that she'll never know. <laughs> Mom, I'm getting in trouble. I know something you don't. Something that she'll never know. <laughs> Mom, I'm getting in trouble. 